Hey, good morning, guys. Looking like we're gonna test out this Meguiar's hot rims aluminum wheel cleaner. I uh, picked up this new to me CLS 550 and has the alloy rims on it, and they are just not in the best shape. I'm kind of disappointed. You can see some discoloration there. Some up here in the corners. Definitely down here, some more discoloration. And line that up so you can see that a little bit better. Um, I've tried cleaning them with a couple of different products so far. The best was the Eagle One, but um, I had a short supply and went back to buy some more and didn't, uh, didn't see any in the store that I went that particular time. Anyway, so I thought I would uh, give this this um, Meguiar's Hot Rims Aluminum. It's probably not going to be aggressive enough to take off some of the dirt. You can see the lug nuts or wheel holes are really just filthy. Honestly, these are some sad looking rims. But, so I, um, <clears throat> excuse me, just took a pressure washer to um, all the car. It's rims. I used the pressure washer yesterday actually to wash the whole car and get it nice and clean. I'm going to make this project today go a little bit quicker. So, uh, <clears throat> as the directions say, to thoroughly coat with the foam spray. I like how it is clingy um, compared to some of the other sprays that I've used that just ran off. Again, I'm, I'm not thinking that this is going to be aggressive enough to solve this, these tired rims, um, troubled spots. They don't have a lot of curb rash. There is some curb rash, but really, honestly, the saddest part of them is just the way that they look. They sh it's not shining as much as I was hoping that they would. So that is a thorough coating, I would say, especially in my troubled spots. You can see the cleansing action foaming. I'm going to hit the calipers there and uh, give it 15 seconds. You know, with my problems, I wasn't about to assume that I was just going to see magic rims happen here, so I picked up a you know more of a lug nut style brush to hopefully get in these holes a little better. It's probably not going to be big enough, or it's actually too big to get in there. Didn't expect that. So we're hitting the troubled spots now. And, uh, go ahead and speed this up for you by taking a pause while I wrap through all of these. <sighs> okay, so I uh, blasted through that. Um, didn't really rush or, or nor take my time. Just kind of heavy duty scrubbed. Some of the troubled spots and all the way around the rim give it a quick pressure wash now Surprised. Um, did do a lot of heavy scrubbing on on any of them, and uh, some of that discolorization is definitely gone. There's still, you know, some grime there, but see a little bit left down under here, and uh, definitely I got this troublesome spot over here. But 
it definitely has been reduced. Um, you can see that stain still there. I will have to say, overall, it did a better job than I thought it was going to do. Um, I'll probably take another run at a couple of troubled spots there and see if we might be able to get it out. Specifically, this one here that I was talking about and under here looks a lot better, but it's still got a couple of issues going on right there. Um, but up here looks a lot better. Overall, there's still some staining right there too. We'll give it another shot. You know, this is the most mild wheel cleaner out there and um, rule of thumb um, when you're cleaning stuff is always start with the most base product or the mildest product and work your way up. No need to jump full in acid cleaner um, and damage something when a little elbow grease and something more mild might be able to solve your problem. So we'll go ahead and do that around two and um, jump back in and show you how that turned out. Okay, so did the foaming application just a second ago to my troubled spots again. Giving it a few seconds. And then I'll go ahead and jump back in with the brush and uh, blast it again with the pressure washer. And then at that point, um, I'm not satisfied with the results, then we'll look at something a little heavier. All right, uh, I took the round comb brush again, this kind of style. Picked up the auto parts store for about five bucks. Troubled spots. Um, definitely looks better. Still a little, uh, a little stain in there, but it certainly has come a long way from what it was. Look down under here again. It's a little hard for me to see under there, so can't really tell if it's done the best job. But up here, there was a lot of filth earlier and some staining as well. You know, overall, the lug nuts even on the inside where I couldn't really get with the brush. Um, it's still dirty, but on the outside where I did a kind of a weak, a weak job. Um, it still looks like it did a pretty decent job of just kind of getting in there and moving the grime. It's going to take a heavier solvent in those wheel holes to just melt that grime away. But overall, I would say this wheel is definitely clean enough for a, a polishing rate a little bit later and um, overall as far as the Meguiar's you know I give it a pretty good job for being a cheap product I really haven't used a lot of expensive products I'm kind of a go for the cheapest kind of person if you understand what I'm saying you know if I can get the bang for the buck for the least amount of cash that seems like the smart win and overall um, I'd say you know these definitely look better than when I started can see some of that discolorization has been removed um, the dirt and the grime that it appeared stained has been uh, lifted and the wheels are definitely in a better shape for polishing and so um, we'll go ahead and uh, get ready for that